All right, let's work on use tabs now because I want you to see how also small but useful can uh, hooks be. All right, so we're deleting all this. Bye bye. See you. All right. And now let's say that I have something from the API coming or whatever, and that will be my content, right? And here I will do maybe the first one will be tap. And that will be, I don't know, section, section one, and then this is the content. And then I am the content of the tab of the section one, right? We copy paste this to section two, I am the content of section two. All right. And now let's make, uh, let's make two buttons, section one and section two. Okay. So here let's do content that map and that will be section whatever and let's make a button maybe a little bit bigger better let's make a button that has section dot tab so now if we save this you will see let me kill the css because it's centering stuff section one section two all right with the buttons here very very simple we're doing nothing now what I want is to only show the content of the section that is currently selected. So for example, at the beginning, we're going to load the, um, the content of section one, for example, and then when we click section two, I want to automatically switch to um, the content of section two, all right? That's something I want to do. So how do we go and do that? Actually with hooks is a pretty straightforward and simple solution. So let's create here, const use tabs, right? And this is going to get the default, no, the initial tab, right? And what else? And the, and all tabs or all sections, whatever you want to call that. Now here, what I'm going to do is say current, current index, and here set index, or let's be more precise, set current index, all right? And here, what we're gonna do is do use state as always, and initial tab, okay? So if we wanted to use, to start using it, what we will do will be, let's do tabs, for example, it doesn't matter, and then we we'll use tabs, and by default, we want the first one, the zero one. Remember arrays, zero. Awesome, all right, so we have tabs. Now, what I wanna do is I want to get the content from that is selected uh, right now. That means that I wanna do something like content, uh, and I wanna get the content of the index that is selected right now. That means that, for example, use tabs zero, for example, that means that I wanna get the number zero of the array, this one right here. So what I'm going to do is to start returning stuff and I wanna call this a uh, current, uh, no, let's do content, I guess. No, not content, ah, the current item, whatever. And current item is going to basically be all tabs and current index. All right, that's how it's gonna work. So current item return, yes, it will be all tabs and current index. I don't know what this is, what's the problem with this? Oh, I haven't passed it here, let's pass it. So this will be named content. All right, perfect. All right, now, as you can see, there was an error here. So what I'm going to do is actually check for that error at the beginning of the function if not all tabs or uh, not all tabs is, is it is array? Is array MDN. Array that is array. Uh -huh. So I will do array that is array all tabs. 
then I'm going to return and kill the function right there. All right, so as you can see now, there is no tabs and the function is not complaining because I'm killing it here. All right, we're just falling silently, failing silently, not falling, failing. And we need to say that if it's not an array, I forgot about this. If it's not an array, then we return. All right, if it's not an array. Now, as you can see here, we are returning. Let me just put the content here to all the tabs. All right, as you can see here, we're returning the, con the current item. So that is basically all tabs and zero because the first tab is zero. That is the equivalent of doing content. And then, yeah, it's, it's just, we're doing this content zero like that. All right. So same thing, same thing. Now, what I want to do is actually show the current item content. So in this case, let's do like that, but we need to open this. So use tabs returns current item. So here we go. Current item. And now here we're going to do current item content. And as you can see, let's put this under a div. As you can see, I'm the content of section one. Now, if I change the, the, the tab, it will be content of section two. Now we need to make this thing happen automatically, right? Automatically. So in this case, what we're going to do is do comma and let's do change item. And what change item is going to do is basically set current index. That's basically it. This will update the state. Remember that? All right. So now here on the content map section, section tab, whatever map also has an index. So all we have to do is do on click and we are going to do change item. Let's get it from here. Change item on a function like this. Change item index. Now what should happen is that sec uh, and index will be zero and one and all the buttons will have an on click. And when somebody clicks them, we're going to change the item to whatever their index is, which is zero and one. And that will be change item, which is set current index, which changes the state. So it changes current item to the new index here. So it refreshes everything. All right. So now we can do, there we go. Look at that. Done. Freaking working. Look at that beauty. Unbelievable. That's how easy it was. That was use tabs. We're just practicing um, use state. I just want to show you how easy it is to work with use state because you need to remember always, always, always use a state is like this state and this set state refreshes everything and it re-renders again. Just because there is no render function doesn't mean nothing is re-rendered. This is just a proof that everything is being re-rendered again. All right. Um, I think we're going to stop working with use state because it's not so exciting. We need to move on to the next one, which is use effect. But I think this is okay. This is exciting. and It's all right. It's very useful as well. All right. Let's make, uh, I'm going to copy paste this on the VS code and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.